I'm Alex. Uh, I graduated class of 2013 Biomedical Engineering. Uh, I'm Sean. I graduated 2015 in Biochemistry. And you did a Master's in Commerce. I did a Master's, one year Master's in Commerce. So we're Biotrap, and we are Charlottesville's Biotechnology Engine of Innovation. A lot of buzzwords there. So let's just back up. Who the hell are we, right? Oh, oh we're being recorded. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> Sean and I, we're on a team called iGEM, Synthetic Biology Research Team. Very independent, and it's basically a science fair for college students. We were scientists and engineers at that point until we got to the E-Cup. And Rachel was on our team right there. Um, and we went to the E-Cup, and we somehow won. Very happy accident. Something. And from there, Capstone, Coulter Grant, Coulter Grant again, $200,000 in funding later, we have our prototype, and we are testing it, and we are ready to get it to market. And that's a really rare story. Whenever I tell people, whenever you tell people, they're like, oh my god, you're so smart. You're, you are so great. And I'm like, I'm not really the smartest person at you. Yeah? Like, more people should be doing this. And so now we agree. And so he's like, why don't we do this? We should make it happen. Because everything is here at UVA in Charlottesville. Charlottesville is the, the capital of Virginia and biotech com uh, com startup companies, I think, I heard. And um, so, like, <laughs> what? It definitely is. Um, and so we were like, what, what, why haven't we heard more about this? And so John and I realized that what we would have benefited from most was someone who had just been there before, who had done it, to help us lead us along the way. Um, and so we started a group called Biotrip, and it's basically a community um, of people who are trying to do awesome things in the biotechnology realm. So it's not as easy as sitting at your computer, no offense, app makers, it's not as easy as sitting at your computer, and then working up and then going to funding. Like, it's really hard to get space, hard to get funding, it's hard to get expertise. It's and hard to stick through your project for several years. Yes. The biggest thing. And so, well, uh, we were around the Charlottesville, and they, uh, a lot of people asked us, how do you know that there's other students who are just as crazy as you guys, who want to work outside of class on an outside project? And we said, that's a, good, that's a very good question. So we started in the spring. We had Kevin, he was one of our spring pilot programmees. Went through the summer. Into the, the fall, we had an ECUP workshop. And our teams ended up taking over a third of the money given out of the ECUP. So I think that was a pretty big success. And now from there, that's just the beginning. We are launching these into actual, actual uh, products or whatever they will be. Um, they, they range from like medical to agriculture. Mini cells was another one you just heard from. Um, we want to make these things, we want to change the world, and so we're looking for students, we're looking for mentors, we're looking for project managers um, from all walks of life, anybody who wants to see um, advancement in biotechnology. So yeah, I mean, echoing exactly what Alex said, we're here to help you guys get started, uh, bring, just come here as a blank slate, we're going to help you guys develop ideas, um, form teams, develop project proposals, take those proposals, pair up with faculty mentors, get you in labs, get you um, all the resources you need to actually take your project forward. That's what we exist to do. Uh, that's what we would have really benefited off of. But now that we've been through the ropes once, we are more aware of the university system, the university dynamics, and we're aware of how to navigate that and what resources are available. And so basically we are leveraging our experience with that to help other projects get started. And like Alex said, we had a fantastic success this past uh, ECOP. And now that we have gone through our pilot year, we are looking to scale up. And so, again, like you said, we need people to help us in both the core biotech team, the team uh, project uh, members for, to start their own projects. We need commerce students to be on the core team. We need a ton of skills. So if you are, if this is something that sounds like it interests you, please come. I also want to request that Liz Pyle present about something that's happening next week. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.